Hey Twin Flames, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're diving deep into a crucial aspect of your journey, the Twin Flame Mirror Exercise. But there are some common myths that we need to bust wide open. Stick around as we break down the truth behind these misconceptions. The mirror exercise. So here's the first myth. The mirror exercise is done in the mirror. The idea that the mirror exercise involves standing in front of an actual mirror is a widespread misconception. In reality, it's a powerful four step process that you write out. So there are some spiritual practices where you are going to be in front of a mirror and talk to yourself, but that's not this particular mirror exercise. So let's break down the four steps of the mirror exercise. Okay, step one, describe your upset in one concise sentence. So I'm upset at my twin flame because they're ignoring me is an example. Step two, rewrite the sentence with pronouns pointing to yourself. So. I'm upset because I'm ignoring myself. Step three, ask if there's any truth to that statement. The answer is always yes. And you might notice maybe you're ignoring your finances or your health or your beauty or um, you're ignoring your feelings. That's a big one. Ignoring your feelings, not ex letting yourself express your feelings to yourself. Finally, in step four, Speak to that upset part of yourself with love until you find peace, relief, and completion within. So no mirrors required, just pen and paper. Myth number two, the mirror exercise makes you blame yourself. Myth number two suggests that this exercise leads to self-blame for the actions of others. Absolutely not. The mirror exercise is about reclaiming your power from external circumstances that bother you. It's a tool to bring your consciousness back to peace, allowing you to make healthier decisions for yourself. It's not about blame, it's about empowerment. From that place of peace, you're in control, not controlled. Myth number three, one time magic tool for twin flame control. Here goes with the word control again. The mirror exercise is not a one time magic tool or quick fix to control your twin flame. It does neither of those things. Let's debunk the idea that the mirror exercise is a magic tool to control your twin flame's actions. Far from it, it's a spiritual practice meant to be incorporated into your daily life. Instead of controlling others, it helps you focus on self-love and from that place, make decisions that serve your highest good. Remember, it's about personal growth, not manipulation. Myth number four, the mirror exercise is exclusively for the twin flame journey. Last but not least, this is wrong. This powerful tool can be applied to any situation where you find yourself upset, wherever you go. Whether it's a late check, an aggressive driver, or a challenging family member, the mirror exercise is your go-to for inner peace. It's not just about your journey. It's about navigating life's ups and downs with grace. And there you have it, Twin Flames, the truth behind common mirror exercise myths. Remember, it's not about blame or control, but about empowering yourself and fostering self-love. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Twin Flame insights. Until next time, keep shining that love and that light. Bye-bye.